As a young girl, I would come home, I'd settle in after a day of school, pull up my TV tray with dinner, and I would turn on my evening ritual of Jeopardy. And I would glance at the coffee table, where I would see an array of things. It could be the cat's collar, my homework, some mail that had just been brought in, and some magazines. The magazines said Miz on them. And I remember them vividly because the pictures were different. There was a diversity that I hadn't seen as often, both of color and of age, and the names were different. There were congresswomen, there were astronauts, and the topics were different, from mothering to being a working mom, to heavier topics such as domestic violence, the poverty line, unearthing its roots where it comes from, and matters of equity. And now when I say different, in describing this Ms. Magazine on the coffee table of our home in Cloverdale. I mean different from the covers of the magazines I would see at the grocery store checkout. And I was, I was too young at the time to know what most of it meant, but I also knew that to my mom, to my dear mom, who I'm honored to have here with me tonight, of these magazines was important. I mean, it wasn't a one-off. She had a subscription. <laughs> and having these pages in our home, it signaled to me that there was just so much. Meghan Markle, a name globally known as the Duchess of Sussex, despite being well known as an activist, advocate, entrepreneur, and actress long before she became a royal, attending the Women of Vision Awards, accompanied by her beloved husband, Prince Harry, and the amazing, graceful, and always elegant Mama Doria. Meghan glowed, she glittered. I mean, she shined like the star she was born to be. Meghan is living her authentic life surrounded by loving family, making global impact by uplifting women and girls. Her reputation was built on the back of her work with some of the most remarkable global figures. Moreover, she was the very first woman with a global voice to marry into the Windsor family. Meghan as a winner of 2023 Women of Vision Awards, she is described as a feminist, champion of human rights and gender equity, and global role model. Her lifelong advocacy for women and girls remains a constant thread she weaves through both humanitarian and business ventures. The profile reads, Past honorees at the Women of Vision Awards have included Hillary Clinton, Amanda Gorman, and Ava DuVernay. The Ms. Foundation says that for the past 50 years, it has invested more than $90 million to build grassroots movements fighting for gender equity for women, particularly women of color, around the country. In an interview with Elle magazine in 2016, Meghan Markle said, while most become starstruck by A-list actors, you will only see me in awe of leaders affecting change. Politician and diplomat Madeleine Albright, UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. These are my heroes. These are my celebrities. Gloria Steinem, Ms. Foundation co-founder, presented Megan the award for her global advocacy to empower and advocate on behalf of women and girls. Meghan and Prince Harry direct their philanthropy through their Archwell Foundation, which provided nearly 13 million COVID-19 vaccines with partner Global Citizen and helped resettle nearly 175,000 refugees from Ukraine and Afghanistan in the United States with partner Welcome US, according to its 2022 annual report. In this article, we will talk about Meghan Markle's ascent to influence the people she met along the way, and what global leaders think of her. We will also explore Meghan's pre-royal experiences and their impact on her personality and commitment to humanitarian work. Let's get started. Before Meghan became a British royal, she was already working closely with global leaders. She also had a successful acting career before joining the royal family. The hit television series Suits and a variety of other film and television appearances are just a few of her notable roles. 
Meghan became an influential public figure through her acting career, and her position in the spotlight enabled her to voice her stance on important issues. Below are a few of her notable contributions to notable events. Meghan Markle's participation in the UN War Room as a global power player. According to Meghan Markle, the experience was surreal, seated in the inner circle with everyone from UN Secretary General to the first female president of Finland, Targa Halomin, to the executive director of UN Women, to Wolf Blitzer Gary Barker Kiefer Sutherland, and several other players in this fortunate few. Take 2014. In 2014, Markle spoke at the launch of UN Women's He For She campaign for gender equality at UN headquarters. In that meeting, she met with Elizabeth Nyamayaro, an award-winning humanitarian and special advisor at the UN World Food Programme. Additionally, Meghan Markle visited troops in five countries in 2014 as part of the USO Chairman's Holiday Tour. During this tour, she met with service personnel and their families and expressed her gratitude for their service. Meeting General Marty Dempsey, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, was an honor since he is second only to the Commander-in-Chief in the U.S. military hierarchy. In 2015, Meghan Markle met with UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon at a UN policymaking and representative gathering where leading global figures, philanthropic leaders, and politicians gather to debate, discuss, and offer recommendations on issues related to international security and peace. It was in 2016, when she responded to Elle magazine about race and the identity question, sharing her experiences as a biracial woman. Again in 2016, Macon visited Rwanda to work on a clean water project with World Vision Canada. A passionate advocate for women's rights, education for girls, and eradicating poverty, she has worked on a variety of humanitarian causes. What global leaders say about Meghan Markle? Several global leaders remember Meghan Markle for her leadership impact. She is known for her dedication to social causes, advocacy of women's rights, and her charisma to interact with people from different backgrounds. Here's what global leaders have to say about Meghan Markle. General Martin Dempsey. Congratulations, Meghan and Harry. In December 2014, Meghan Markle was one of the six celebrities who gave up their holidays to join us on a USO tour. She is genuinely and uncommonly kind, humble, and compassionate. May she and Harry continue to make it matter together. Justin Trudeau. Prime Minister of Canada. Meghan has shown leadership in gender equality. We are so pleased that she joined us at the One Young World Summit. She talked to young women and men about making a difference in their communities, countries, and around the world. Meghan Markle is very inspirational to all of us women. She is the embodiment of female power, not just acquiring power for power's sake, but the power to change lives and save lives and transform future generations. She is a goat. Real female power. If you like this video, support our work with super thanks or super chat, or join our channel subscription. Subscribe, press the bell icon, and like, comment, and share the video.